Get ready for an unforgettable year with 12 full moons, including three stunning supermoons and two enchanting blood moons. Find out when the next full moon will be visible and learn the names of the full moons in 2025. This full moon calendar has the dates and names of all full moons in 2025. Many astronomers and stargazers find the full moon unpleasant because the bright moonlight drowns out the view of deep space objects. And even if you choose the moon as your observational object, many argue that lunar features such as craters and lunar maria are better visible during the waxing and waning phases of the moon. Immerse yourself in the magic of the full moon 2025. A full moon is when the moon appears fully illuminated as seen from Earth. This happens when the sun, Earth and moon are in a straight line. The moon and the sun are exactly on opposite sides of the earth. From this position, the sun's light shines directly onto the visible part of the moon, creating a perfect, bright ring of light. This phase occurs about halfway through the lunar cycle 29.5 days, about 15 days after the new moon. Technically, only certain days are considered full. These are the times marked on the calendar. Learn more about the phases of the moon. The names of the full moons have their roots in the traditions of North American Indian tribes. These tribes honored the seasonal changes by giving each season its own name. Interestingly, these intriguing names embody the essence of the entire month in which they appeared. The next full moon will occur on Thursday, January 13, 2025. January's full moon is called the Wolf Moon after the howl that is often heard in winter. However, there are many alternative names. The Great Lakes Potawatomi call it the Bear Moon and the Omaha call it the Moon when snow blows into the tent. The January 2025 full moon is also called the Yule Moon in European traditions, as it is the first full moon after the winter solstice. February is the month with the heavy snowfall in North America, so the February full moon is called the Snow Moon. Some tribes also called it the Starvation Moon because the harsh weather conditions in February make hunting difficult and food sources scarce. On the night of the full moon on February 12th, the bright star Regulus will shine next to the moon. The third full moon of 2025 will occur on March 14th. This month marks the vernal equinox. Winter gives way to spring in the northern hemisphere, which is reflected in the traditional names of the March full moons. The most popular of these is the warm moon, but some tribes call it the snowcrust moon, after the unique weather conditions experienced in early spring. The March 2025 full moon will be the first micro-moon of the year. It will be 4% smaller and 8.3% dimmer than a normal full moon. The fourth full moon of 2025, the so-called pink moon, will occur on April 13th. Most of the names of the April full moons are associated with pink flowers such as phlox and peonies. Some people think that the lunar disk itself should be pink this month, but that's not true. This full moon is the first full moon after the vernal equinox so it is also an Easter moon. In the Christian calendar, Easter falls on the first Sunday after the Easter moon. The full moon in April 2025 will be the second micro-moon this year. It will be 5.1% smaller and 11% dimmer than a normal full moon. The fifth full moon of 2025, or the flower moon, will occur on May 12th. This month is the time when many flowers bloom, which is why it is known as the flower moon. As you might imagine, May is the season when many flowers bloom, hence the name May Full Moon. Some tribes name it after a flower of particular regional importance. The May Full Moon of 2025 will also be the last micro-moon of the year. It will be 5% smaller and 10% dimmer than a normal full moon. The sixth full moon of 2025 will occur on June 11th. It is traditionally called the Strawberry Moon, and some believe that the June full moon should have a reddish color. For the Native American tribes of North America, June was the month of the wild strawberry harvest. That is why the June full moon is associated with these sweet red berries. The seventh full moon, or buck moon, of 2025 will occur on July 10th. July is traditionally associated with deer, as it is the season when deer antlers grow. Incidentally, antlers are the fastest growing bones in the world, growing about to 0.5 centimeters per day. The July full moon is known as the buck moon because during this month young male deer also called bucks grow new antlers. In Celtic culture, the July full moon was sometimes called the wort moon. The eighth full moon of 2025, or sturgeon moon, will occur on August 9th. It is named after the fish, the sturgeon, also known as a living fossil, b. 
because sturgeons have lived on Earth since prehistoric times and have changed very little since then. In August, Native American tribes fish for sturgeons in the lakes. Sturgeons are plentiful and easy to catch in late summer. Additionally, the August full moon marked the beginning of the harvest season in the Northern Hemisphere. Various Native American tribes called the August full moon the corn moon, rice moon, and black cherry moon. The Anglo-Saxons called it the grain moon. The ninth full moon, or corn moon, of 2025 will occur on September 7. This month marks the vernal equinox, which marks the transition from summer to fall in the northern hemisphere. The harvest season is approaching, and that is reflected in many of the traditional names for the September full moon. Native American tribes often associated the September full moon with corn, as corn is ready for harvest in September. Name variations include corn moon and corn maker moon. The tenth full moon, or harvest moon, of 2025 will occur on October 7. In some cultures, it is called a blood moon, whether or not there is a lunar eclipse lunar eclipses are often referred to by that name as well. The name refers to the hunting season, which traditionally begins in October. This year, the spring equinox is on September 22nd, so the full moon on October 7th will be the harvest moon. There's a reason for the name, the harvest moon rises just after sunset. Previously, this gave farmers extra time to harvest in the evening under the moonlight. The full moon in October 2025 will be the first supermoon of the year. It will be 6.6% .6 larger and 13% brighter than a normal full moon. The 11th full moon, or hunter's moon, of 2025 will occur on November 5th. The hunter's moon is associated with the harvest moon. The reason is quite simple. During the harvest moon, farmers harvest their crops, and a month later, during the hunting moon, hunters can easily spot animals scouring the open spaces for food. The more common name for the November full moon is the beaver moon, as this was the time of year for beaver hunting. The full moon in November 2025 will be a supermoon. It will also be the largest and brightest supermoon of the year 7.9% larger and 16% brighter than a normal full moon. The full moon, or cold moon, on December 4th will be the last full moon of 2025, in many cultures his name evokes cold, snow and long nights. The December full moon is traditionally known as the cold moon because it is the month with the longest nights and the coldest in the northern hemisphere. The December full moon is also called the moon before Yule, according to European tradition, since it is the last moon before the winter solstice. The December 2025 full moon will be the last full moon and super moon of the year. It will be 7.9% larger and 15% brighter than a normal full moon. A full moon is a lunar phase that occurs when the Earth is between the Sun and the Moon. In this orientation, the entire visible surface of the Moon is illuminated by sunlight and appears as a bright round disk in the night sky. Learn more about the celestial mechanics behind the phases of the Moon and feel free to contact us anytime. Your support is our greatest motivation.